Hello, this is Daton Dan. The, uh, I'm going to show you a uh, procedure that um, a lot of people are unfamiliar with. But if you happen to send out artwork to other screen printers or to uh, artists sending art files to screen print shops, and the print shop may not be familiar with how to print your particular files, and let's say I don't know, they're going into Corel, for example, uh, and um, they don't know how to import already completed separations uh, all together in one file. They're unfamiliar with it, so I'm going to show you one particular step, and this is just for DCS2s, which is not necessarily the best or newest technique right now, but it's something that um, some people can grasp a little bit easier. So, on the cust on the artist end, they have their separations, and um, so they just in Photoshop they go to File and uh, save a copy as a DCS2. Okay, include spot colors, and you click Save. And you want it as a TIFF 8-bit pixel and a DCS single file with a color composite. And that preview is like 72 PPI, low resolution. But um, you got options in here, single file, no composite. Um, and then you got multiple files down here with color composites. Uh, grayscale composites, but this, you know, it's full color art, so you may as well do uh, a full color composite. And you want a single file because if you do multiple, it'll break that up into individual grayscale separations. So if I have a six color job, I'll have six individual files. And um, in my case, for me, sending it to a customer I just want to send them one file so they don't have to mess with a whole bunch of other things and but so this is what I do single file color composite you don't need to include any information down here because you don't do those halftones in Photoshop anymore I don't even know why they <laughs> include those um, so the file saved right so now you go into Illustrator or Corel, in my case Illustrator, 13 by 19 page size. And I simply go to locate that file, um, which may take me a minute because in the opening process, I actually opened the folder directly. So now I have to search for Man Cave. Yeah, that's it. SEPS EPS. Okay. So, here's the kicker. I want to place this file. So I went under File and Place, right? But the thing is, it's an EPS file. Illustrator is, is uh, uh, RAM and hard drive space dependent. So in other words, it runs off of uh, your your hard drive, processor speed, and space. Um, so if you're low on space or it's a big file, Illustrator and Corel, they're vector files, so they both do the same thing. They run a little slower, sluggish. Um, so uh, Illustrator, as a step, precautionary step, to make sure that you're not putting anything in there that's super huge, which this file will be, uh, if you look at it, it's uh, 324 megabytes. Um, you're going to link a proxy. So this is going to just have a connection to back to this file in your folder. So I c click link because if you don't, it won't let you paste that image. I'll, I'll show you. DCS EPS files cannot be opened or embedded. Please place this file using the link option. Click OK. 
Go to File, Place, Locate that bad boy again. EPS. And this is only for EPS files. Uh, so you click on Link, down here at the bottom right in the window, and Place. Now it's reading it, and all my colors together. Click up in the corner, it'll take a second, and now you can uh, you know set it up for for printing see it's a little sluggish click center because I've placed a large file in there and uh, you know position it for your your template if you're going to a CS machine CTS machine or a um, film you know you might need two inches of space in your template from the top to the bottom or something so that it lands in the proper location and then uh, and then you just go to print so let me show you something about this in the spot color list for Illustrator let me drag this out gosh Sometimes it's hard to find the right corner. There we go. So I want to show you all these colors that come in here by default. And then I want to get rid of that because all I want in this file for me to have a clean, organized file is I want to select all unused and then hit the trash can. Yes. And then, so these stay in here by default after you delete all colors. Doesn't matter, you can keep it in or not. But uh, these are my spot colors that I'm using. And I've, as you see, I've numbered them in the same correct sequence. So now I'm ready to print. And uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, that's it. And I'll, I'll show another process in another video. Thanks, Dotone out.